Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and review a classic fragrance. This fragrance was released way back in 19, I think it's 93, 94. This has been out for a long time. We are talking about a fragrance from the house of Ralph Lauren. We're talking about Polo Sport. If you have been around the fragrance game for, you have probably, you probably know about this fragrance. This fragrance has been out for such a long time. And even me growing up uh, in high school, this was really uh, a, a quintessential fragrance, if you will. People either had Polo Sport, they had Polo, they had, um, I, I think Isimiyaki was, no, Isimiyaki wasn't out at that time, but they had Cool Water. There were a bunch of fragrances, or a couple of fragrances, that were like the staple fragrances that most guys either had. You had this or you had that, you had this. There weren't really these huge collections or anything like that. And it was really iconic for that time. I mean, I smelled it, you know, recently when I was going through and doing the review and I was like, man, you know, this brings back memories. So, gotta tell you right now, this is gonna be a tainted review. It's tainted because it's been around for such a long time and, ooh, man. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna be like that, all right? So, this fragrance is available in a couple main sizes. It's available in a lot of main sizes just because it's been out there and around. The retail price for this was around $70 and uh, for the 3.4 and the 1.7 was around was around $50. But again, this has been out since 1994. You can find this heavily discounted, heavily cheap. But on the flip side, you can also find this heavily copied. So be very careful and I highly suggest at this point, you probably buy it from a purchase or from a licensed retailer if it's out there and just spend the extra dollars so you know you're getting the authentic deal. Another point of note, this is heavily reformatted or reformulated for that matter. It's been out since 1994 and it's gone through, I think like two reformulations at that. And so when you actually smell the original uh, compared to what you smell now, it's a little bit different. Now, I, I will say that I'm actually reviewing this on, or reviewing this off of the original, right? I had a friend give me a little bit of decant of the original. I was originally going to review it off of the reformulated version, um, but, you know, I decided to stick with the original. And now, by original, I mean, I think he got it in, like, 2000. So it may have been reformulated by then, but I don't know for sure, okay? So, the 2000 version, if you will. All right, so... With that, let's go ahead and get right into the notes. Now the notes consist of, bam, as you can see on the screen. I'm not gonna read off all these. These are a massive list of notes. You should know that there are a lot of notes. So as far as the smell goes itself, I gotta tell you, it is a massive conglomerate of notes and of fragrances. If I'm to just sum it up, this is a clean, sporty fragrance. This is a prototypical sport fragrance, if you will. And I'm tempted to say that it's like one of the first sport fragrances that came out, but uh, I don't know that for sure. So I'll hold my comment on that. But a lot of the fragrances and the sport fragrances that you smell today are heavily based on this scent, if you will. This kind of followed the mold of the Green Irish, or the, yeah, the Green Irish Tweed, the Cool Water. It has that type of, um, uh, a fougere smell, if you will. It's very light, it's very airy, and at the same time, this has got that sea saltiness, it's got this sporty vibe to it, it's got a lot of, you know, um, florals that are kind of going on this, and at the same time, it doesn't smell floral at all. You can get tinges of it as the fragrance kind of develops on your skin, uh, and I've really found that it really depends on your skin as to which way it goes. On my skin, this remains clean, it remains fresh, it remains minty. Minty is a big note for this, and as, as you spray it off first, it's one of the most prominent notes. Now, the other interesting thing about the notes on this one is the aldehydes. The aldehydes come in this large and in charge, and if you're familiar with my reviews and my fragrances, you'll know that I'm not a fan of aldehydes in general. But this one, the aldehydes, for some reason, the way they do it, it does it for me. And it's one that all the hides, to me, it works. Uh, so very positive remarks around on the smell. And the smell is going to last you around five to seven hours is what I found. Pole Sport was never a hugely, you know, long-lasting fragrance, but it does its job. It lasts a good amount of time. Now, the one tricky thing about Pole Sport is how you apply it. I generally go two, three sprays maximum, and three sprays is kind of pushing it, because despite the fact that this is a clean, lighter fragrance, this does and does have the 
distinct possibility of becoming cloying, especially becoming very annoying to those around you because it does have this kind of loud screeching effect, especially the more you apply. And I suspect that's coming from the aldehydes. Aldehydes tend to do that to fragrances. So be very careful when you're applying this one and just be uh, a little bit more mindful of people around you because you, you might even spray it and you might not even notice that you're being kind of offensive with this. And I think a lot of people got that whole idea of an offensive fragrance when they came across this one over applied. So just be very careful when applying this one. As far as season goes, I think this is a great all year round fragrance. This is something that cuts through the cold air when you put it on in the cold. And it's something that you can wear in the uh, summer and spring as well too. It does great in both scenarios. Chanel smelled it year round when I was in high school as well too. For you. Now, as far as um, occasion goes, I think it's a great work fragrance. I think it's a great school fragrance, casual fragrance. Uh, I wouldn't put it in a date fragrance just because, you know, it has been around for a while now and chances are your date may have possibly smelled it and may think that it reminds them of high school or some other memory for that matter. And, you know, you kind of want to come across, at least I personally would want to come across with an original smelling scent that is widely appealing rather than a, a scent that, yes, while at the same time is widely appealing, appealing may be associated with some negative emotions. So, yes, that's just my thought. I don't think it's a good date fragrance, is my long-winded way of saying it. It's a great fragrance for any age group, and while I did not get any compliments while I was testing this one out, in the past it has gotten compliments. Um, again, it's been out for a while now, and you may uh, be stunted on the compliment factor because of the fact that it has been out for a while now, all right? And comp yeah, so that, yeah, that's pretty much it, all right? So if I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give this fragrance a rating a 9 out of 10. It gets a 9 out of 10 specifically. I mean, at the end of the day, this is an icon iconic fragrance. I love the actual scent. There's a reason why it's been around for a while. And even though it's not in production, it's a little bit different. It still is a really great smelling scent. Um, it's polo sport. I mean, there's not really much else to say about it um, other than the fact that I do have fond memories attached to it. So. I may be over-inflating this scent. I think if I didn't have such attachment, I'd probably give this fragrance a rating of or possibly uh, anywhere like a 7 or an 8, most likely. All right? But I, again, think that this still has lasted the test of time. It's not outdated. It still is a very relevant fragrance, uh, should you so choose to wear it. And um, at the end of the day, it's a solid fragrance, so it gets a 9 out of 10. All right. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to let me know, leave a message, send me a note, do whatever you got to do. And also give me what your experiences are with this fragrance on top of that. Okay. Thank you guys. Take care of yourselves and have a great day.